500 subjects were surveyed about their feelings towards baseball. The age groups and preferences are given. So one subject is chosen at random. What is the probability that the subject is 18 to 24 years of age given that he or she likes baseball? Now remember that given, it does two things. For one, it restricts your sample space. And secondly, uh, that also becomes your denominator. So what that means is we're only going to be choosing from this group. The group that likes, dislikes baseball. Okay, so let's take a look at how many people dislike baseball. And anytime you have a given, that becomes your denominator. So let's take a look at the row that dislikes baseball, and that's a total of 220 people. That will be your denominator. Now, from that group, we're looking for the probability that the subject is 18 to 24 years old. But that's going to be your numerator. So this is your denominator, and that's your numerator. But we can only choose from that row of 220 people. We can only choose from the people who dislike baseball and from nobody else. Now, of those, we have 37 who are 18 to 24. So we're looking, so we look at only focus on the group that don't like baseball, that dislike baseball. 220. That's your denominator. And from those 220, we think about how many of them are 18 to 24. And that's 37. So our first answer is going to be 37 out of 220. Okay, the next one it says, what is the probability that the selected, selected subject dislikes baseball? Now, if there's no given, that means your denominator is going to be uh, everybody. So in this case, we have no given, therefore your denominator is going to be everyone. So how many uh, people were surveyed? We were a total of 500 people were surveyed. And of those, how many total people dislike baseball? So we have a total of 220 people who dislike baseball, therefore your answer is going to be 220 out of 500. The next one says, what is the probability that the selected subject is 35 to 55 years old or likes baseball? Now let's take a look at the word or. The word or is the addition formula, which says we want to find the probability that they're 35 to 55. Okay, Or means plus, so replace the word or with plus. Plus the probability that they like baseball. But then some people get double counted, so we have to subtract off the people who are 35 to 55 and like baseball. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this. Um, so how many people are 35 to 55? 35 to 55, we have a total of 17 people. We have a total of... I can't erase that. We have a total of 17 people who are 35 to 55. So the probability of choosing someone who's 35 to 55 is going to be 17 out of 500. Now the word or means plus, so plus. How many of them uh, dislike baseball? Or how many people dislike baseball? So if you look at the row that dislikes baseball, we have a total of 220 people out of 500 who dislike baseball. But then notice what happened. Okay, how do we get to the 17? We got to the 17 by adding the 1 and the 3 and the 13. How do we get to the 220? We got to the 220 by adding 37, 9, 3, and 171. That 3 got double counted. It got counted once with the people who are 35 to 55 and then once with the people who dislike baseball. So we have to subtract off those three people out of 500. Now, once you add or subtract fractions, the denominator stays the same. And we're going to be adding the numerator. So we have 17 plus 220 minus 3. Um, that should give you 234 out of 500. Okay, the next one says given. 
that is select a subject is 70 years old, what is the probability that he or she dislikes baseball? So we want to find the probability that he or she dislikes baseball, okay, given that they are 70 years old. So if they're 70 years old, which category do they fall in? Well, if they're 70, then that means they fall in the 55 or older category. Okay, so we want to find the probability that they dislike baseball given that they're 70 years old. Given that they're 70 years old. So we're looking for all the people who are 70 years old and they fall in that category of 55 and over. So that's going to be a total of 375 people. Of those 375 people, how many of them dislike baseball? So of those 375, we have 171 who dislike baseball. So our probability is going to be 171 out of 375. Okay, uh, lastly it says what is the probability that the selected subject is 55 years and over and likes baseball. The word and is an intersection. Anytime you see the word and, that is an intersection. And if you think about the intersection of two streets, it's like where, where does the first street and the second street cross? That's their intersection. So same thing, we're looking for the intersection of 55 and over and likes baseball. So let's take a look at 55 and over. Uh, that's going to be over here. Likes baseball is going to be over here. Now the word and means that an in, in, in intersection, so they intersect right there at 24. And because there's no given, the denominator is going to be everybody. So the answer here is going to be uh, the, the intersection of like baseball and 55 and over, that's 24, divided by 500. The test was given to a group of students. The grades are summarized below. If a student is chosen at random uh, from those who, give to, who took the test, find the probability that the student got a B given they're female. Now, the word given, it means that whatever comes after that, that is going to be your denominator. And not only will that be your denominator, that is also going to be your sample space, meaning you can only choose from people who identify as females. So let's take a look at the people who identify as females. That's going to be a total of 46 people. So your denominator is 46. And of those 46 people, how many students got a B? We have 13 people of the 46 who got a B, and that is your probability. So Anytime you're, you have a given, that's going to be your denominator, but that's also going to be um, your sample space. So that's going to be the group that you're choosing from. So you can only choose from the from the people who uh, I identify as a female. And of, of those 46, we got to figure out how many of them ended up with a B. The number of people who survived the Titanic based on class and gender is given in the following table. Suppose a person is picked at random from the survivors. Part A says, what is the probability that the survivor was a female? Okay, so if there's no given, that means your denominator is, is everybody, which is all the 451 survivors. Of those, how many were female? 309. Okay, part B says, what is the probability that a survivor was in the second class? Okay, so let's take a look at how many survivors were in the second class. And that is a total of 121. If there's no given, your denominator is everybody, so it's 451. And 121 of those were in the second class. Part C says, what is the probability that a survivor was a female given that the person was in the second class. Now when we have a given, it means we're only going to be focusing on that row or that column. 
In this case, we're only going to focus on the people that were in the second class. So I'm going to highlight that. I don't care about anybody else except for those people. And whatever the given is, that's also your denominator. So how many people are in the second class? 121. And that will be your denominator. Now, of the 121 people who were in the second class, how many of them were female? That'll be your numerator. So of the 100, and remember, we're only going to look at the 121 people. Of those, we had 95 females, which is going to be your probability. 95 out of 121. Now, part D says, what is the probability that a survivor was a female and in the second class? Anytime you have the word and, this represents an intersection. If you think about the intersection of two streets, wherever they meet, that's what we're looking for. So when we have the word and, we're looking for the intersection of female and second class. Okay, so I've, I've already highlighted second class. Now I'm going to highlight all the females. And they intersect right there at 95. And because we have no given, your denominator is going to be all 451 survivors. And of those, 95 were in the second class and female. Notice it says round to three decimal places, so make sure that you convert all of these fractions into three decimal places. Okay, so we're, get, we're given uh, a test to a group of students. Um, part A says find the probability that a student received a B in the class. If there's no given, then we're looking for all the students who received Bs, and the denominator is going to be everybody. So that'll be 25 out of 76. Part B says find the probability that the student is a female. So we're looking for all the students who identify as a female in this class. Oops. That's a total of 29 students. Now, the denominator is 76 because we have no given. So we're looking, choosing from all 76 students, and of those, how many identify as females? That'll be 29. Okay, part C says, find the probability that a student was a male and received an A in, in the class. So the word and refers to intersection. So we're looking for the intersection of male, which is this row, and an A in the class. An intersection means you look at where they intersect. They intersect right there at 16. That's where they cross. Uh, there's no, there's no uh, given, so our denominator is going to be 76, and our numerator is going to be the students who are males and received an A, which are going to be those 16 students. Now, part D says, find the probability that the student received a B in the class given that they're female. So when it says given that they're a female, given it means we're only going to be focusing on the students who are females. And whatever the given is, that is going to be your denominator. Okay, now our denominator is going to be anyone who identifies as a female, which are these 29 students. And because we're given that they're female, we're only going to be choosing from the females. And of the people who identify as females, how many of them got to be in the class? That is going to be your numerator. Uh, of those 29 students, we had six who got to be in the class, so your probability is going to be six out of 29. Part E says find the probability that the student is a female given they received a B in the class. So now our given changes. Our given is anybody who received a B in the class. That's, that's our given. So how many students got to be in the class? That's going to be these 25 students, and that'll be your denominator. Now, of those 25 students, how many are females? That's going to be the numerator. But again, we're only choosing from the students who got to be in the class. And of those 25 students, six of them are female, so that would be six out of 25. Okay, and finally, find the probability that the student is a female and received a B in the class. So we're looking for females and B. That's going to be the six here out of a total of 76. So we're looking for the intersection of female and B, which happens to be this value here at 6.